everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. Today I'm reviewing a movie from 2022 called Grim Cuddy. It is available on Hulu, that's where I watched it. The film stars Shannon Sossaman, uh, Sarah Wolfkind, Usman Ali, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, and a couple other people. Uh, and right off the bat, before I jump into the review, I want to say that I understand that this is not a great movie. I understand that, but sometimes we'll, we'll get to it in the review. On with that. Now, right off the bat, I need to tell you that Grim Cuddy, in my opinion, feels very much like a creepy pasta. It's the kind of thing you see with like uh, Killer Jeff, or you know, th that kind of thing. It's the kind of images that you see. Uh, in, in those stories, that that type of thing, uh, not really Slenderman, but you know the same kind of tall, lanky. Uh, other than the face, the face definitely has detail, and that's one of the things we're going to talk about in this review. But Grim Cuddy is a story that's very reminiscent of uh, stories like The Ring, uh, where you know, instead of a videotape and people dying seven days later, this one is an internet phenomenon uh, where. This character, Grim Cuddy, uh, if you look him up on the internet, he comes to kill you. Well, actually, he doesn't come to kill you. He comes and makes you hurt yourself or hurt your parents, so on and so forth. There is a rather unique twist at the... It's about halfway through when they find out how Grim Cuddy actually works that I found very interesting. Um, but one thing I want to point out is the acting in this movie is quite better than I would imagine it to be especially given the production quality of the actual Grim Cuddy. Um, sometimes he looks incredibly silly. I'm not going I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'd, I'd be completely honest here. He looks incredibly silly at sometimes, especially when seen from a distance and seeing him walk. Um, there's nothing creepy about that, but I do find the face very unsettling and the face is on the poster. Um, the face is also in several of the marketing campaigns. On top of that, <clears throat> he is shown very, or it is shown very, very soon in the film right off the bat. There is no, uh, there is no hiding the face. It is right there. It's not even in shadow. It's bright. You see it. Um, and it's very creepy. I was impressed on how much of this movie takes place in the daylight or in the light. Uh, I found that rather cool. Uh, but I, I, I really don't know how to put to words why I enjoyed this movie. Um, it was, it wasn't that it was mindless fun. There was obviously thought and care put into the production. All of the actors did a fantastic job. Some of the scenes are a little bit over the top, but I, I enjoyed the entire movie. Uh, where I'm at with it, I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. Uh, do I think you should watch it? I think you should give it a chance. If you were not into it within the first 30 minutes, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any worse. It kind of stays level through that. So if you're enjoying it at that point, I would consider to continue watching. Um, this one... I'm not worried about like people going, this movie sucks. That's not what I'm worried about because there's going to be people out there that say that just based off the character design and the, the creature, whatever you want to call Grim Cuddy. Um, I did find the movie interesting and I did find it fun. So where I'm at is about 3.5 stars. I think there's nothing Halloween related in this one, but I do think that it is right for this time of year. Uh, here at the end, I'm sorry I didn't put this up front, but there uh, I got to give a trigger warning for cutting. Um, there is several sections in here that, that deal with uh, the, the possibility of cutting or scenes of cutting, that kind of thing. Um, but it also is played off. I don't I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's we know what is happening and it's not really cutting so keep that in mind while you're while, while you're watching this movie um another thing that i found impressive was the subtle comedy throughout and whether or not it was intentional or not there were several scenes that made me and my wife laugh out loud uh, there is one scene in particular um and i will set this up for you trying not to do, trying to keep away from spoilers there is one section 
uh, one very specific brief moment where a character falls down the stairs. Pay close attention to the mother's reaction. Just pay close attention to the main character's mother's reaction when that happens. Because I was kind of high when it happened, and I thought it was hilarious. The way she looked down, in fact, I started doing, like, voiceover of her reactions. I had Shell cackling. I was like, and I hope you broke your coochie bone, too. Anyways, just watch it. We get to that scene. Hopefully that pops into your mind and you have a nice little laugh. But Grim Cuddy, I'm going to recommend it to people who like creepypastas. Because I don't care too much for creepypastas. Usually they're really poorly written. Um, and it's really evident from the outset what you're going to get. Um, but in visual format, that's what you get here. You kind of know what you're going to get because of, you know, because of creepypasta culture. Uh, if you like creepypastas, you're probably going to love this movie. Um, if you are, if you're picky about your creature effects, you, you're probably not going to like this movie because Grim Cuddy, like I said, from a distance, always looks kind of goofy the way he walks. Nothing scary about that whatsoever. Um, in fact, I'm sure there's going to be people saying that he was absolutely hysterically, you know, produced. Like he lo just looks absolutely awful, and I understand. But at the same time, I enjoyed the movie. Um, also, my favorite movie of all time, no hyperbole, no exaggeration, is Howard the Duck. My favorite movie of all time. So keep that in mind before you go into this. I thought it was a very fun watch, and it was, it's a good addition to this time of year. It's on Hulu. If you have that, definitely give it a check out. Definitely check it out, or give it a chance. That's what I just mixed together. Anyways, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.